the 86th book that I read in 2023 is Where the Red Fern Grows. I had never read this book before. I have a neighbor who teaches it to, who reads it to her third grade class. Um, it definitely reads older than third grade. I would say it's like a fifth or sixth grade probably reading level. Um, but it's about dogs, and I love dogs. And I just lost a dog a couple months ago, and I was talking with somebody, and they said, do not read Where the Red Fern Grows because you are going to get very upset if you do, because I just lost the dog. And that just made me want to read the book all the more. And then my neighbor said, when you get to the end, you're going to cry. And she said, I cry every year when I read it to my class. I can't help it. I cry right in front of them. And I did. I teared up. It, it's a it's a, it's a, a very good book. It's it's very heartwarming. Um, but the ending is, is sad. Um, it took about seven hours to read. I would give it a B plus. It's a solid, solid book. It would not take anyone very long to get through. It's not a challenging book at all. It's just a, a good heartwarming book that you could read at night before you go to bed. Um, liked it very much. It's again, it's about dogs. I learned a lot about raccoon hunting in, in this book. Every single chapter is about hunting raccoons with these, with these dogs. It's set in the Ozarks and, um, I would say it's probably in the 19, 1900s, 1910s, the year is never specified, but um, 1920s maybe, car, there, some people do, there are a few people who have a car, but most people are, are still riding in buggies, so it's it's set, you know, in the early 20th century, um, but solid book, and um, I do, I do recommend reading this book if you haven't read it already, Where the Red Fern Grows.